I would like to try to summarize our, our discussion by focusing your attention on a few elements. The first is we have been reviewing, thanks to the different presentations which were made, the coherence of our approach when it comes to the seven environmental action program vis-a-vis -vis all the other strategies which have been developed and which will be uh, developed in the years to come. We have discussed coherence when it comes to thematic strategy and to what extent it helps or will help. We have discussed coherence regarding Natura 2000 and the biodiversity agenda. And we discussed coherence with one of the biggest customers of the world, the, the economical world interested in the green economy, the cities. They are one of the key players because they are, have a major purchasing power. And this is very much recognized by a number of business people. So that was why it is very important indeed to stress the importance of Koreans when it comes to cities management in relation with what we are doing. Now, let me come with four messages. And you will excuse my, my, me, but uh, as it has already been indicated, I have been involved in this business for a long time. I have been, uh, when I was the European Environmental Bureau board member in charge of urban issues, to discuss urban environment at European level was not politically correct. So see where we are now. I have been Secretary General of the European Environmental Bureau at the time of the law. The CO2 tax was at the agenda. Christian was a very bright expert defending the concept, where are we now? We, and then I have been dealing with a number of partnership initiatives. But it came to me that building on those experience, I have a few messages for you. The first, be proud. If you look where we were 40 years ago, the environmental agenda was even not in the treaty. And where we are today, where you are all together, one of the biggest players of the new economy of the 21st century, you can be proud of the work done. And you should be proud, because when you are addressing yourselves to the other players, they need to know that you are proud of what you have done. Message number one. <laughs> Message number two. Be critical. We have not made the progress we should have been doing. Because on a number of issues, we failed. Be critical. Be honest. My third message. We all together have to accelerate change. The problem of today is the security of the world is very much depending on how we will be able to manage the environmental policies in the years to come. From this point of view, we have to accelerate change, to accelerate the transition to a new economy, to build the well-being for all society we need. Facing uh, the coming turbulent decade which is coming. So what conclusions when it comes to coherence of policies? And what conclusions when it comes to leadership? If we as Europeans want to keep some forms of green leadership, we have to wake up and we have to revisit seriously our methodologies. And from this point of view, let me just indicate five small issues which are all the time coming back and back. We have to move towards a closed-looped economy. Are our tools ready to deal with that? We have to deal with zero waste. Are we ready? Do we have the instruments for this? We have to move towards systemic management, addressing the responsibilities of the value chain. Are we ready with this? Is the information transparency reporting systems ready for this? We need to review the pricing policy. We have to deal with the environmental harmful subsidies. We have to deal with the problem of environment slash poverty. Are we ready with this? 
we have to consider sustainable new covenants for sustainable buildings, for example, with cities. It's not there yet. And finally, we have to address ourselves to the private financial institution world. And we have to say to them, if you banks of the world, you want to regain trust, you will have to change your policies. You will have to accept to enter into a negotiation so that we are able to mobilize the private funds we need to move towards a new economy and well-being for all. Thank you for all.